And I have two stories that I'm gonna share with you guys today. The first one is actually um, a client of WIF Bear Family's leader, Alonso Aguilar. And let me tell you something. Um, Patrick Lencioni said that a very fundamental part of a partnership um, and succeeding together is have trust. And I often, I don't know about you guys, but the number one concern that clients have most times is, is it gonna pay, right? Well, I also recently shared this story with us and it completely impacted me how fast and how efficient this claim was paid out. This is a case with Mutual of Omaha. It's a living promise for $15,000. Alonso insured this client March 26th of 2020. The policy went effective April 1st of 2020. The monthly premium, $72. The cause of death, cancer. Date of death, June 27, 2024. On June 27, 2024, <laughs> tongue twister, the client's daughter contacted Alonso at 1.10 p.m. Alonso then contacted his admin at 1.20 p.m. and a call was made to Mutual of Omaha. They verified with the hospital by the, that the client had passed away. By 1.30 p.m., the beneficiary and the client's social security details, including the date of birth, were confirmed. Subsequently, the check was processed and sent overnight to the beneficiary. The second story I have for you is by marketing director and leader of the Providence organization, Amanda Sanchez. This client, and I do want to give thanks to the family for allowing us to use pictures and names. This client's name, Leonardo Torres. Amanda followed up with this client for a month. The power of closeout but the power of closing out in the office. This was a mid-month out closeout. April 15, client finally said, okay, let's do it. I remember sitting there with Amanda and she was telling us that she had just insured this client. Well, application was submitted April 15, approved and issued April 26. Check business Friday morning, on April uh, 26, and she saw that it was approved an issue. Call client at 11.40 a.m., same day to congratulate and confer in building. And all that good stuff we go over with the clients once they're approved an issue. This is an article. Beneficiary message Amanda the very next morning, April 27, to notify her that the insurer had passed away. The insurer passed away a couple of hours after being approved an issue. Yes, the insurer passed away April 26. Well, Amanda initiated the death claim the very next business morning, followed protocol with carriers, etc., with National Life Group. This is a message of the beneficiary. This is a shot of his bank account stating that he received the death, pay, the death benefit payout. The beneficiary is actually the nephew of Leonardo, Chris Torres, and he is the gentleman uh, with the gold chain. So, trust in the partnerships that we have, and that includes our carriers as well. Guys, it's been great. How much bullshit do we see going on right now with people not being able to pay their bills? With this administration ruining in this country, with inflation telling you everything's okay, everything's fine, vote for me again, we're gonna be good. Really? Because I don't know what news they're looking at, because that ain't the same thing we're looking at. How many families are not staying together because of divorce? I come from a family of divorce. Broken home. My grandparents were divorced before I was born. On my dad's side, everybody gets them. I have cousins I don't know in Mexico. My seven-year-old uncles. Broken families. You know how weird it is to go to Mexico every three months? 
four months ago, you know, ten year old kid, primo, primo. You're like, who the hell are you? Dad, who is this preacher? That's your cousin. Who's who's son? You Rafa. He's 75 years old. Why does he still have kids? I don't even know. He still operates. It is because of financial crisis. Watch this. Financial stress survey. 65% of Americans say finances are the biggest source of stress. In our era where high costs for essential goods are tightening budgets, nearly half of Americans say 47% say today, 2024 has been the most stressful year of their lives financially. According to a new survey by the Market Witch Guides team, another 42% say they will avoid looking at their checking account. Can you imagine you have better things to worry about than worry about looking at your checking account to see if you don't have enough to pay the bills? Bankruptcy found rice 18, 16%, 2,544,000 because of the uh, inflation and the uh, pandemic and all the free money that went down. 413,387,000, 2023, 452,000 bankruptcies. And by the way, 2024, we're on track of for it to double. Money and divorce. PhD is gonna keep families together. We're gonna teach leadership. We're gonna teach families that money doesn't have to be a we're not gonna have some stupid ass politicians done. Vote for me. I'll save you. No, you save yourself. You save yourself. You don't need nobody to save me. I just need God. I don't need you.
Build your bands together. Have focus, clarity, values, principles. And on the youngest million dollar earners in PhD sitting at age 46. Y'all, give some love to David and Alyssa. Speak up!